Hello, my beautiful freaks. Sweet day today. Coming back at you. I am here at my local Dollar Tree. I'm going to put some more of the fall foliage out. These are so pretty. I'm just loving it. Wow, look at these. I don't remember seeing those. These are cute. Alright, let's go and see what they got. Okay, so they put out some more of the school supplies. Let's see if they have anything. They put out a lot more since last night. Because I was here yesterday. Let's see if they got anything good. Let's see we got these copier paper. 75 sheets for a dollar. That's not bad. We got these be bold. I showed y'all these in Raleigh. Be bold. Um, it's kind of like the light bulb for an idea. And Optimus in the black. And let's see what we can get out here in the pink. We got the stars. And they're all just like that. That's cute. A lot of composition books. We have these books down here, which we've seen in the stationery department. All right, let me see what else I can find. They got some cute stuff here. Be back. The rest of the couches are so cute. Got it in the purple, lavender, yellow, and the pink. Those are cute. Wow. I finally got the other flavors in the hydro. This is the zero sugar. This is the tropical thunder. And this one is the purple passion. I'm going to try this one. I bought that one down there. So I'm going to try this one. Zero sugar. Let's see. They now have the lemon pepper tuna in the pouches. Wow. That looks good. Okay. I see you. Let's see you, Bumblebee. I'm in the kitchen. I wanted to show you guys how I throw these Dollar Tree Mrs. Phil's cookies um, in the oven. I have the oven set on 325 <clears throat> and the noise that you hear is my chicken patties in the air fryer that I told you guys I was going to cook. And I'm going to sit this camera down and show you guys how I make this quick little delicious dessert. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. I need a new tripod. My tripod is flopsy, flipsy flopsy. But here are the Mrs. Phil cookies that I've had defrosting for a little while. Just trying to get them nice and soft and gooey. I have my Dollar Tree pie pan because again, if you want to make a cookie cake or a cookie pie, you can use a pizza pan. And depending on what size pizza pan you use, that's how many packages of cookies you're going to need. I only want to use one package of cookies, so I use my Dollar Tree pie pan, which comes out just perfect for me and my mother. And you get six nice sized cookies, pieces of cookies, and again, I just take them out like this and just mold them into a ball of dough. It's going to be so yummy, you guys. I got a little bit of the lemon filling left from the lemon cheesecake, so I might, um, utilize that on the cookie dough. I hope you guys can see this. Let's see. Let put this back so we can see. And all I'm doing is just going around and pressing the cookie dough out until I get it all the way in this pan. And you just want to just smush it out. Take your time. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be well worth the little bit of work that you put into this. It doesn't take long at all. And you want to even it all out so there are no holes or tears. 
and one's not thicker one part of the cookies not thicker and the other part is thin so you just work with it I have a miniature rolling pen around here but I'm too lazy I didn't want to <laughs> I didn't want to use it because I didn't do it before so I didn't want to do it this time I just took my time and just brought the cookie out and I'm gonna cook it on 325 I think it's 8 to 10 minutes I think that's what the package said so you see so you got a nice little cookie one big cookie and of course when it's done I will separate it into slices of pie so it'll be like eight slices so mom will get four and I'll get four and we cook it on 325 for uh, 10 to 12 minutes Oh, that's my phone ringing. You cook it on 325 for 10 to 12 minutes, okay? And then you let it set for two minutes before you try to handle it. So I'm going to put it in. It's probably just a telemarketer. That's why I'm not answering it. And if it's anybody important, they'll leave a message. So I'm going to put that in the oven. Get that in there. Now I'm going to check on my chicken. Let's see what this chicken's doing, y'all. I'm just making me some chicken tonight along with some um, broccoli florets. I don't know if I'm going to steam the broccoli or roast the broccoli yet. I put the oven on just for the cookies. I really didn't want to. <laughs> so there's the chicken breasts. They look like that. They look really good. And I was able to get all three pieces in here at one time. And I'm going to spray them down one more time with some olive oil and then put them in there for a few more minutes. And I don't want it to be dry. I don't want it to be dry. I was starting to put it in the oven, but then I said, no, I didn't want to put the oven on. But then I put the oven on for the cookies. But, you know, that's well worth it. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'll come back and show you how everything comes out. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, my sweets. I am back. I decided to roast some broccoli in the oven instead of boiling it or steaming it. And so I had it sitting out in the sink just trying to get a, the ice off of it. And I'm just going to add just a little bit of olive oil and just coat it nicely. And I'm just going to put some pepper. I want a nice, lean, healthy dinner so I can enjoy my des dessert guilt-free, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to put some salt, just a little salt. You know, we got to have a little salt, y'all. And I'm going to put some, what is this? Kingsford garlic and herbs, all-purpose seasoning. I really like this stuff. I put it on everything, so... Yes, I put that on everything. So I got a little bit of that. And we're going to do a little bit of onion powder. And just get the broccoli nice and seasoned. And we're going to mix all that up. And I have a little um, cheap, cheap pan from the Dollar Tree. I know I need to be an ambassador of the Dollar Tree because yeah I didn't plan it like that that's just how it happens <laughs> so we got that with a little mixed up now we're just gonna pour that onto the sheet pan and y'all know I'm using my bird's eye baby broccoli for a florette florets from food line I love their baby broccoli or I like the regular size broccoli from Aldi's. I'll get the ones from Walmart if if I have to, but 99.7% of the time when you go to Walmart, they're they're out of it. It it's gone. It's sold out. So I don't even bother looking anymore, even though it's only what 99 cents, something like that. Okay, so now I've got the broccoli here. I'm just gonna rinse off my gloves real quick. I'm ready for dinner. I'm hungry. I can feel it. I can feel my blood sugar. It's saying, Sadie, 
you really need to get something to eat. I'm just going to put a little bit more of this seasoning on it. You can put some tahini on here or tagine, whatever it is, but I don't. I just put a little bit of Parmesan cheese from the Dollar Tree again. And I just like to sprinkle that. I have mozzarella cheese, I have cheddar cheese, but I'm just going to do this to keep the calories down. Because these are the only days that I have to really focus on my um, food intake is on my days off. And hopefully, preferably, I don't get called in or texted in tomorrow. So I'll have one more day off. I bumped up the oven to 450. Woohoo! Yeah, 450. And I'm going to put that in there. And I'm just going to put the timer on for 10 minutes. And I'll check it in between. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when it comes out. So far we've got the cookie. That looks so delicious. I've got it on one of my Dollar Tree cutting boards or hot plates. And I'm letting that cool. And then I'm going to decorate that. And again, the chicken patties are right there. So delicious and moist. I didn't overcook them in my air fryer. Yes, thank you. All right, I'm gonna come back and show you guys this really, really small Dollar Tree haul that I have for you guys. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, my sweets. My roasted broccoli is done and it looks yummy. I haven't even tried it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, very, very good. And I'm gonna decorate this cookie real quick. Excuse me, y'all. And let's see what I can come up with because it looks yummy. Such an easy, quick little thing to make for dessert and I told y'all my tripod is broken so it doesn't want to put my um it doesn't want to bend the way I need it to so I've got this is the lemon filling that I had left over from the dollar um from the cheesecake and because I'm still filling it I'm going to use the rest of it and I'm just going to spread a small thin layer of Cool Whip on this. Just put a little bit on the cookie, spread it around. I did let the cookie cool completely so nothing was going to melt and I'm going to put this in the refrigerator after. So I'm just putting a little bit of Cool Whip on here and then we're going to put the rest of this lemon because I'm not going to try to save any of it because I love this stuff. I think my mom does too. One time she said she didn't like lemon, but she quickly changed her mind for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> we have the right to be fickle. Okay, so now I'm just going to put this lemon filling on here. And I'm going to take the spatula and get this off. I finally turned that oven off after my broccoli was done. And all I'm going to do because I'm probably going to have to put a cover up on here. I don't want to make it where it's going to be too high. So I'm just going to take a little bit, just a little bit of Cool Whip and put it in one of my pastry bags. Because you can always add more Cool Whip as you're serving this. So we're just going to go around just so my cover up can go on there and it doesn't you know um, get in get in the middle of that because I am going to be splitting this with mama if she wants it I'm ready for dinner I'm hungry so we're just going to do some little stars and then I just got a little bit of my chocolate syrup from the Dollar Tree let's check the date because it's been in there a while Best Buy 7 21 okay so you're going to just take a little bit of this I don't know if I want to put any syrup on that or not you guys what do you think a lemon chocolate chip cookie you think we need any of this on there? 
I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm going to save that and not put any chocolate on it because mom sometimes can eat chocolate and sometimes she can't. So that is my little chocolate chip lemon refreshing dessert. And I got plenty of Cool Whip left. And I'm not going to put any chocolate syrup on there because I just decided not to. And I'll just take one of my cover ups. I have one in here. I got two boxes up here, so it really doesn't matter. Let's see. You know, you get three sizes in the Dollar Tree cover up, so look like that. So you get three sizes in here. You get the large one, and you just put it on, cover it up, cover that cookie up without it getting too much on the thing and then put it in the refrigerator until you're ready to eat your cookie okay guys i hope you enjoyed watching i'll be back with that small little dollar tree haul bye